everybody, this is Marta here on YouTube. Today I have a super quick-ish uh, makeup tutorial for all of you. So I saw a picture of a girl wearing a gold, um, a gold liner and a gold coral liner. I don't know how she did it. And I don't know if there's a coral liner. I have to look that up. But anyway, it inspired me to do something a little bit similar. So I use coral eyeshadows and a gold liner. So I hope you guys like this look. And if you want to learn how to do this, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're starting off the makeup with the I Love Stage by Essence Primer. I already have my foundation, eyebrows, and obviously this eye almost completely done so I'm just gonna pat this onto my eye to blend it out in any brush to apply this it's fine it doesn't really matter now today I am again I'm gonna be using a Colourpop eyeshadow this is going to be a base for um, for the rest of the look so this is X and this is the Super Shock Press Pigment. Uh, this was from a quad. I don't know if you can still get it. To be honest, I have to check that out. Um, I'm pretty positive you can't, but I know there are colors similar to this one. I just needed a matte coral and I didn't have anything like that. So I'm using an Urban Decay eyeshadow brush since they are synthetic. And I'm just gonna start patting this onto my eye. And the best that I found with this color is to build it up, not to completely um, not to completely make it completely matte and completely fill with color. And this is a dual lendl brush, ended brush. So with the shader part, I apply the eyeshadow and then with this part, I blend it. So it's just an easier process. And I have a little bit of glitter and fall down in here because I did another look before this one. And I don't really have to apply anything to this brush with that same eyeshadow that I'm applying to the eyelid uh, will help me blend out the rest so it doesn't um, I don't have to apply anything else here with Colourpop eyeshadows you do have to work kind of fast uh, when they are set, there's no way of moving them, at least when they set on my eyes, I cannot move them. And just with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on. This helps the blending process. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna use a L'Oreal Color Infallible uh, pressed eyeshadow, and this is Magnetic Magnetic Coral. As you can see, it's a curly color. Obviously, I'm just gonna use my finger, and I'm gonna be applying it just to the eyelid, and this will give kind of a sheen and give it a little bit more dimension to the eye, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay. Whatever is left, take this off. Okay. I haven't applied concealer, just the foundation. Now, for the glitter liner, I'm gonna be using Berry M uh, Fine Glitter Dust in 10 or 224. Um, this is not supposed to be for the eyes, I don't think. The last time I heard, they weren't uh, not for around the eyes, but I use it anyway. Uh, so you can see it's just a golden color, and I'm going to mix that with my mixing liquid from the makeup store. 
So, I just grab a little, like, maybe two or three um, drops of the mixing liquid. I put it on the lid, and then I just mix a little bit of the glitter thingy. It's just to create a consistency that I'm comfortable with. And you don't want to make a lot because it dries really fast. So I'm just going to start applying this to my eyes. There are some mixing liquids that you use uh, to do this exact same thing. And some of them have burned my eyes before and I use and I use contact lenses. My eyes are very sensitive, uh, but whenever I'm using the contact lenses, nothing hurts them, unless you get like an eyelash or something like that. Uh, but when it's a liquid or something like that, it doesn't hurt my eyes. And some of them have hurt my eyes even with the contact lenses. And this one doesn't. That I'm gonna apply my mascara. This is my Maybelline The Colossal Go Extreme Volume Waterproof Mascara. I always use waterproof mascaras, even on my clients. Um, Especially if it's a wedding, but I always myself use a waterproof mascara, no matter how hard it is to take off. My Morphe M433 brush and any kind of nudie eyeshadow or bronzer or something like that and this is just to give a little bit of shadow underneath the eyes just to make it a tiny bit bigger I applied my lashes these are the Demi Wispies lashes and I also applied um, the vanilla matte pencil by makeup store on my waterline and also a little bit of mascara to both um, lower and upper lashes so that's that this is a slick blush in coral as you can totally tell um i wanted to keep it a, a little bit of a thing a theme today just corals everywhere so i'm using a an angled brush and i'm gonna be applying this to kind of the apples of the cheeks and Hey, you big sir. Estoy grabando fuera. Okay, so if you treat, fuera. if you treat me like that way, I'm not gonna give you Churchill. Yo no quiero Churchill. There's a Churchill yeah. here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's uh -huh. Thank you, money. Why are you bring me? Thank you, money. Hoy es el día del, del helado. Sí. Sí. A little bit of highlight because, I mean, it's me. I have to apply highlight if I can find a brush somewhere in the out. Oh, found it. And I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop um, highlight. And I'm just a tiny bit there. I'm first going to remove every foundation that I have on my lips. Okay, and now I'm going to apply China Rose. This is by Mimi Me Cosmetics.
So yeah guys, that was the whole look. I hope you guys really like this look. I know the eyes are kind of the center of attention for this uh, for this makeup look since it is a coral and gold uh, type of look. So I hope you guys like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll see you this next Friday. Bye. <laughs>